how to fix six failing marketing metrics your CEO actually cares about. What's new with Google I.O. and Facebook ads? Cool ideas of the week, including tips and insights on viral videos, SEO, content marketing, and entrepreneurship. My name is Rajiv Parikh, and this is the Marketing Best of the Week. How to fix failing marketing metrics your CEO actually cares about. This is by John Benini in a guest post on HubSpot to discuss key marketing metrics and what to do about them as outlined by CMO John Volpe. Here are the metrics. Number one, customer acquisition cost or CAC. This is inclusive of all spending, including sales, marketing, salaries, media spend, the whole thing. If this number is too high, you need to look at the sales process at length and the sales labor cost associated with it. You may need to more clearly define what a qualified lead is and change who does the nurturing. Marketing should look to provide more targeted and segmented content to nurture and shorten the sales cycle. Number two, ratio of customer lifetime value to customer acquisition cost or LTV over CAC. Remember, customer lifetime value is all the gross profits over time discounted back to today. Now, when you assess this ratio, you may think a number like six to one is terrific. But in fact, it may mean that you're underinvesting in sales and marketing, leaving yourself open to competitors. If it's one to one, you may be losing money on every single sale. So you'll want to reevaluate your churn rate and your pricing and do analytics on what aspects of your customer acquisition and delivery process are actually performing. Number three, time to pay back CAC. This measure impacts cash flow. If it's too long, you need to take a deep look at your pricing and analyze your marketing automation strategy. How are your prospects digesting and engaging with your content? Develop more targeted workflows to nurture leads effectively and speed up the process. Number four, marketing originated percentage of leads and number five, marketing assisted percentage of leads. Typically, you want 40 to 80% of leads to be originated by marketing. You also want those leads assisted by marketing at a much higher level. If not, your sales cycle will be much longer and much more expensive than they could be. In both cases, work closely with sales to break down the lead process and look to buttress your content, personas, segmentation, and scoring. This article helps give marketers insight on what their executives care about, so check it out. What's new from Google and Facebook? From the Google I.O. conference, there were significant product announcements that marketers need to be aware of. First, with Google+, Plus, there are over 41 new features. Capabilities like bigger pictures, related hashtags, and photo-related features like auto backup, auto highlight, auto enhance, and the aptly named auto awesome. Hangouts has been redefined. It goes beyond video group discussions to be a multimedia messenger with text, photos, and videos across the web, Android, and iOS. Google Maps has been rebuilt from the ground up and integrates Google Earth and Street View. You can now tailor maps for each search and click. It incorporates Zagat badges, restaurant reviews, and offers. New for Facebook user-generated video ad units coming through a partnership between social rich media platform Moontoast and user-generated video platform Video Genie. Marketers can feature and promote user-generated video testimonials and stories from brand advocates within native ad units in users' Facebook news feeds. This is announced and to be available shortly. The bottom line with this is that users can now create and star in their own brand ads and brands can promote them. Check out both announcements. And now our segment, cool ideas of the week. Three viral videos and why they succeeded. First, Dove's Real Beauty Sketches video, which got over 68 million views in a month. 
The campaign offers a powerful message about women and their perception of their own beauty. It succeeds because it's something you are definitely going to root for. Second, the Jeff Gordon Pepsi Max prank, which succeeds by going beyond typical elements of surprise and hilarity to exhilaration. Third, there's the very well-known wealth inequality video. It succeeds because it's not only so unbelievable, it's actually true. From the Foursquare article, three types of specials that retailers can use. First, the Swarm Special. When over 15 people show up, they get free time on a game console. Second, the Friends Special. When two people check in, they get their appetizer for free. Then there's the Loyalty Special, where after your fourth visit or fourth check-in, you get a free t-shirt. For SEO, Matt Karts has an article and video about the upcoming Panda 2.0 release. It'll have a number of important changes, including devaluing advertorials, especially those that are not clearly marked. They'll also be working on making link buying less effective. Here's some content marketing stats from Demand Metric. Did you know that 25% of marketers' budgets go towards content marketing? 91% of B2B firms and 86% of B2C firms use content marketing. Content marketing costs 62% less than traditional marketing. And B2B firms use an average of five social media channels to promote their content. And a special call out to Tycon 2013. As many of you know, it's the world's biggest entrepreneurial conference. I wanna thank them for having a great youth program which inspired my 13-year-old daughter, and I hope it laid the seeds for her to do something big in the future. I also want to appreciate them for having Chris Anderson speak. He got me to check out Sunday's Maker Fair up in San Mateo with my 10-year-old son. He and I were able to get hands-on experience with the new 3D printer-driven manufacturing revolution. Thank you for joining us this week. Hope you found this news and information to be really helpful. Please subscribe to our channel and look forward to seeing you next week.